Here we are, the first map. Nothing but prinnies. If you lose this, here I come. God help you. All right, so I'm gonna try out Fenric first here. He's using fists, so he has to get in close. Now the here thing is, yeah, if you if you're next to an additional character, you here have I a come. chance of performing team attacks up to four. See, I have an 80% chance with Valtoris. Didn't work. But he's a boss, so it doesn't matter. Show you. Counter. See, no damage. How do you even lose? Time to bust some balls. Okay, that's hysterical. <laughs> Time to bust some balls. I don't think I'll ever get to that. Alright, see, I'm putting characters on either side in like a T formation. 60, 60, 60 with each. All four work. So now it's a four player team attack. And they each got their attack in. 25. Is that insane or what? The beauty part is, since they didn't actually perform an action, I, could, I can cancel their movement if I want and put them back in the base panel. So essentially, it's just free damage. Alright, so I'm gonna go for another team attack here. The mage has weak attack, so I want the axe guy in there instead. Only two people. That's nuts. And I get some free money and experience. Simple, right? Ah, now I can buy shit. Which is good because not all my characters even have full equipment slots yet. Good old Zombie Jr. He basically tells you what, um, how the weapons work. Like, swords are based off your attack stat and they're pretty generic. Um, they, they're balanced and they have lots of different, um, special attack varieties. Uh, axes, however, are like heavy damage dealers, but they also lower your speed. Um, but they do insane damage and most of it ha you have to be right next to your opponent to do. Much better than they used to be, though, because hacks is used to decrease your hit instead of speed and if you have low hit um, good luck hitting your targets at all so that's why axes are much better now um, spears can attack from an extra space away and they usually increase your defense but they don't have the best attack power um, bows can attack from four spaces away in any direction and all their specials can as well and you can usually hit more than one target um, they're based off the average of your attack and your hit sp um, stats. So you need both high attack and hit to be able to do damage. Although still, swords and axes are going to do more damage than a bow will do. But it's useful for just adding, getting more hits in and doing it from a safe distance. So if you have fragile characters that can't really stay on the front line, a bow is pretty nice. Guns are like bows, except they can hit farther, but only in a straight line. Same with all their specials, and that's based off a combination of your hit and speed stats. So, what's neat is, if it focuses on hit and speed, you can just outright ignore your attack and your intelligence stat. So, not only do your gun attacks get stronger from hit and speed, but you also have insane accuracy and insane invasion from natural high hit and speed. So that's what, so you can focus your equipment properly. So it's, um, it's kind of nice actually. And what else is there? The let's say the bow, sword. Oh, fist. Yeah, like I said, fist. Average your attack and your speed. So good close quarters um, damage with um, high speed. You know, you'll evade a lot of attacks. They're pretty nice. I like I like fists a lot. And last is uh, staves, st staffs. You know, they're for uh, magic characters. They don't have any skills. But they're really good at increasing the intelligence, which is what magic is based off of. And you, they also increase the range of your spells. And range is very important for casters because casters are usually pretty fragile. 
so you want to be able to do magical damage from a distance. And the nice thing about elemental magic spells is that most enemies have are weak to a specific element. So they get basically like free damage bonuses. All right, round two. Um, I don't remember what the tutorial is trying to teach you, but it's nothing new to me since I've played all the old games. All right, so team attack. I got this. Um, for a four-player team attack, Fenric is the one right next to the enemy. So I need another character behind and to either side of him. If you want to be part of a team attack. This. In other words, adjacent to that unit. Um. Yeah. So it had an 8% chance, but it didn't work. So I'm going to kill him with my long range fire spell. Single unit. 99% chance to hit. Boom goes the dynamite. He's gone. Here's Valvatore's special skill. You see, it's a row of horizontal row of three that can go as far as two spaces away. So useful for hitting multiple enemies, but the range isn't particularly great in that However, one of the greatest joys in this game is just seeing additional dam- I mean, the new crazy attacks, and you already saw, like, the four-player attack. That was nuts. And that's, like, mediocre. So, here's his first attack, Impaler Prince. Ugh. Let's see the van let's see Edward from Vamp from Twilight do that. Alright, so I'm gonna try for Time another team attack balls. here. Time to bust some balls. Three people. So three attacks in. Oh, I love this one. Uh, uh, Damn! All right, man, that's intense. <laughs> I love that shit. Again, that's just a standard combo attack. Wait till you see some of the later specials. Ah, the ability shop. Evilities are basically like your abilities. Yeah. See, like I said, like Valvatoris already has. Yeah, check. Yeah, so Fenric already has the Tyrant Slave ability, where his stats are higher when he's right next to Valvatoris. But he has two more ability slots, or is it one more? I think it was one more. So he, he can purchase with mana, which you get from defeating enemies, additional abilities that increase your combat aptitudes in some way. Most of those in the shop are pretty mediocre, just like increasing your base stats by a small percentage, or being or being resistant to a status effect, you know, rarely useful at all. However, they do have more individual abilities that they can learn at higher levels. Like, I think he has the option of learning his next ability at, like, level 20 or something like that. I mean, I have the strategy guide, but it actually doesn't say what level they learn their new abilities at, which is kind of annoying. Most characters, to learn their character-specific abilities or their class abilities, you just have to level up and have enough mana. This is also where you learn skills. See, Blade Rush. All overlords learn this move to get stronger. If you saw, it was three blue squares, which is the squares that get attacked, and the yellow has to be free because that's where the character will stand for the attack to work off. So, for Blade Rush, three attack squares, and then there has to be a blank empty square behind it for Valvatoras to land on after the attack f to work. Um, I think if you're a high enough level and you have the right weapon proficiency, then you'll be able to purchase the skill with enough mana. Valvatoris has just enough to buy um, a Blade Rush, so I got that. It's useful for hitting multiple enemies. It's only 10 mana. And for additional mana, you can power up the moves. They'll... Um, They'll do more damage, and they will consume more SP at the same time. This is very important for magic abilities, because when you upgrade magic, um, like fire, wind, uh, wind and ice, uh, it also increases the amount of squares that you can hit with. Like for right now, um, my skull can only hit a single fire, a single space with fire damage. 
However, if I were to level it up once, the damage would increase, the SP would inc um, consumption would increase a little bit, and I would be able to hit two squares, two diagonal squares instead of just one. In um, so when there are a lot of enemies together and they all have the same weakness, that ability is invaluable. And you can upgrade it nine times, I believe, to where eventually you get a 3x3 three three square and you can hit nine enemies at once with the same spell. It's devastating and absolutely necessary for leveling up. This tutorial level is going into the throwing mechanics. You can basically pick up and throw what well, human characters can pick up and throw uh, pretty much anything in a level. Uh, monster characters can only be lifted, they cannot throw. Triple Strike! Basic fist attack for, and um, it knocks the opponent one space away. Why would you want to lift and throw things? Well, for one, sometimes uh, the enemies are too far away. If you want to cover a lot of distance in one turn, as opposed to just moving er uh, according to your character movement, I kind of missed there. Um, you what you can do is you can put your put units out of the base panel stack them up, make a tower, and then throw them much further away, like tens of spaces, to your objective if you need to destroy an enemy or get to an area of the map or something. Boom! Fun stuff. Um, it's invaluable, and if you ever plan on going through the item world, it's a necessity. Here I come! For, for time, it's, it's a very important strategy, uh, technique. And tower- there's even special tower attacks. Woo! Special tower attacks where you can do each enemy- You can stack all ten of your characters, and if you're adjacent to an enemy, they'll each um, do a standard attack and they'll all get experience for it. Very situational, I hardly ever do it. Really just to see what it looks like, and there are tower special attacks as well. Um, again, they're just neat to look at, hardly ever useful. Ah, <laughs> and this, this is super important, Geo Panels. Kind of hard to explain. Alright. Basically, we have blue tiles, green tiles, and red tiles. By itself, the color tiles don't do anything. But the block that is on that color is casting that effect. See, blue panel, enemy boost plus 50%. That's caused by the red block on the blue panels. If that block wasn't there, the blue panels would just be nothing, just normal spaces. Um, there's a green block over this. there. Uh, I, I can't come. remember what it did. It's uh, here I come. Let's see here. Here I come. It was. I'll find out as soon as I throw it. <laughs> I'm moving too fast to see it. But basically, it doesn't even matter. Oh, it was experience. Alright, it was a green block. So when you destroy a block on a different color tile, they will all become that color. And in the process, they also do damage and destroy other blocks. So it destroyed the red block, which made all the new ones turn red. Then it destroyed the null one, which made them all disappear. And boom! Big bonus. That's my bonus gauge. It's up to eight. Remember when I, you beat a level and you get items? The more you fill up the gauge from combos and geo panel combos, the more bonuses you get and a lot more money. So that, so in the item world, um, it's definitely worth it to, um, if if you want like lots of loot. If if this is your first time seeing it, it might take a while to fully understand. I know it took me a while to. Blade rush. To fully understand myself, but yeah, see, eight blocks of of um bonuses. Oh, I'll shut up now. Here's a message to all of you prennies. You finally completed all of my lessons. No matter what kind of masters you might serve, never forget your pride at being prennies from Hades. And lastly. Keep in mind that any fool who messes up and gets sent back to Hades will be met with a brutal rehabilitation program. Aye, aye, dude! Now, that's
That's the kind of response I like to hear. Allow me to fulfill the promise that I made to you. You shall each receive one sardine! They were raised naturally, freshly caught this morning. <laughs> Making such a ruckus over a single sardine. These prinnies have been well deprived by our lord. Hmm. Now, prinnies, enjoy your sardine and go work hard under your future mess. Hades is going on here! There's only one idiot who could do such a thing without your permission, my lord. This must be his doing. This is unacceptable. How am I going to keep the promise I made to the Prinnies? Let's go, Fenric. We need to get those Prinnies back. Understood. All is for my lord. That man is nothing but a nuisance to my lord. I must make my move now. <laughs> 